Hello everyone, today we are going to focus on how to drive servo motor with PLC. Let's create a new project and let's choose the, our PLC type. Today we will use CP1H PLC. Uh, XA is OK. And we will connect with USB. Let's click OK. In order to drive servo motor, uh, we will use PLS2 command. And in order to reach definition of PLS2 command, we should open the instruction reference of CP1H. Okay, let's write here is PLS2 and open it. And here is the definition, large definition of PLS2. If you want, you can read it. But I will explain. There is no need to read it. Okay. Uh, here is the letter symbol. Uh, let's focus on the first blank, the port specifier. Port specifier means, means that which port did, uh, will you use on your application. We will use port 0, which, mean pulse, which means pulse output 0. That's why we have to write 0, 0, 0 hex to the first blank. Okay, let's create, let's add a contact. From here, let's W1000. Let's give a name to trigger. That will be trigger of the PLS2. Let's add a PLS2 command instruction. Sorry. Uh, and due to we will use port zero, we must add. You must write here to zero 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 zero. Okay, let's focus on second blank. The second blank is represent the output mode. Output mode contains uh, these topics, which which they are mode direction and pass output method. Let's focus on first four digit. First four digit is represent mode. There are two types of mode. Which they are relative passes and absolute passes. We will drive our motor with relative passes. In order to drive uh, absolute, pa in order to drive, in order to drive servo motor with absolute passes, uh, we must do the homic method. We must use the or origin command, origin instruction. This is a really really long story, but Summarily, ORG instruction performs an origin search, which means uh, homing. But in relative passes method, there is no need to make a homing. That's why we will use relative passes today. And these four digits represent the direction, whether you rotate your motor clockwise or counter counterclockwise and these four digits represent the pass output method we will use clockwise and counterclockwise method today there are one more method which name is pass plus direction but today we will focus on this method and this last four digit is zero i don't know why actually and I don't wonder. Let's write. Okay, let's click twice here and write zero. One zero is for that. One zero is for clockwise and counterclockwise. Another zero is for direction. Okay, let's make it one for the counterclockwise rotating. And last one is relative passes. Last zero is. Or relative passes. Okay, let's focus on the third blank. Third blank is contains acceleration rates, deceleration rates, target frequency, and number of output passes. Here is the good graphic. 
about our third plank. Actually, it explains everything about the third plank. Okay, let's say like this: when PLS2 is executed from uh, our trigger, when PLS2 is executed, our frequency from start from start frequency that we will give from D110, it will increase until reach target frequency with uh, these acceleration rates that we will give X from D100 it will remain 50 kilohertz at this size and it will decelerate from here that we will give deceleration rate from D101 and it will stop and these remains, these all remains for 100 passes that we will give from the 104 and 5. Okay, when you write the 100 here and the 110 here. We can pass the these ones to move to values. Let's add a contact. Time is zero zero one. Let's name give a name settings. Let's add a move instruction. Let's start with D100 let's give the same values from the instruction reference let's give 500 decimal to D100 and the name is acceleration rate ok let's add another move let's Give 250 to the 101. Let's, let's give a name deceleration rate. Let's uh, give the target frequency that we want uh, our motor reach the limit, our target. Let's Write fifty thousand, sorry, fifty thousand decimal to the one hundred three target frick. Let's write number of passes. Let's write sixty thousand to the one hundred four here. By the way, our motor uh, will rotate um, 10,000 passes per rotation. That means in 60,000 60, uh, passes, our motor will rotate just 6 rotate. Let's write... What is that? Ah. Target passes. Target points. And let's write start frequency move. What is that? 200 times. Oops. To the 110. Okay, we have done with PLS2 instruction. Now we must add one more thing to run comments here. Let's add a contact to run ten zero two. Let's write run and when the run contact is active, 
the output of 101.00 will be active. Um, it is required because of the before giving a pulse pulse output, we must give one signal to servo driver or smart step two. And this is the end of this video. In the second video, we will focus on to make connections between CP1 HPLC and SmartStep2 servo driver.